you guys so before I start this video I want to let you guys know that there is some workout footage after these two clips and I'll explain why there isn't that much and you're gonna want to hear this pack I want to show you guys this it is the kitchen sink backpack um, it holds I don't know like five gallons of stuff four or five gallons of stuff um, and all my groceries are in there I fit everything in there it's huge freaking backpack and that's like what I travel with and now since I carry my gym bag with me and like my shoes and stuff to the gym, I like to use that to fit everything in there. Whew, I'm out of breath, but it was good because the grocery haul took me like 40 minutes and it would usually take me like an hour and a half at least because I got a bike. So I got to, I get to zip around the hills of Westwood and Beverly Hills, or actually Westwood is on my side, but it's a beautiful day out in my dorm room. Um, it would be hard to film on the bike. I wish I could. I wish I had a GoPro or something, but let's get to the grocery haul. Um, first of all, we got... Let's open this up. First of all, we got some... Uh, it's packed. We got two boxes of oatmeal, and I have to take it out of the box. Shoot! It got wet, but... Okay, so we got those... Um, these oatmeal. Two boxes of lower sugar, uh, maple brown sugar, oatmeal. Uh, I eat a couple packets uh, a night and then I got four mint chocolate chip uh, Halo Top ice cream which is 10 times better than Arctic Zero, believe me. Uh, the macros are amazing. Uh, 24 grams of protein per pint and 240 calories. So and I got one for Julia too. So I got her the chocolate one. I like the mint. Mint's my favorite. And then I'm running out of candy. So as you can see here I do my candy prep right here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, all these have uh, 200 calories of candy in it, and in here it's just empty. So I got some more candy. We got rips. Boom, rips. Rips are great. They taste really good. And I don't know what the exact macros are, are for them, but uh, I'm gonna fit 200 of 200 calories worth of those in those little packets that I use. I got Jolly Rancher bites. Very tasty. Um, and some Sour Patch Kids, and also some gum for class and whatnot. Rips again. Uh, these were on sale, so I got like three of each. Um, so yeah, three rips, three, uh, three Sour Patch Kids, and one Jolly Rancher right here. And then we got three boxes of protein power cakes. Uh, I use three boxes of that, and I use these on the skillet that I have that I brought from home. Ah, one more protein packet there, but uh, I brought a skillet from home and everything is going crazy right now, but here it is in this top drawer uh, right here. That's the skillet that I use. Uh, and there's one more thing in here. I got some more syrup, sugar-free syrup, 30 calories a serving, great tasting, and it won't waste my macros because uh, I'm not trying to drop like 240 calories and tons of carbs on just maple syrup. I also got this package from Alpha and let's open it up. And I got their, their joggers, the black joggers, which is awesome. Hopefully they fit me. Uh, I was torn between a large and a medium because I'm a large in the Nike Tech joggers, but I, I literally, uh, I measured the inseam on the Nike joggers and they're 31 and medium is 31 here, so I did medium but large for Nike, their inseam is 31, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, that is the grocery haul. That is what I got from Alpha. I'm sweating, and I have a midterm at five o'clock. It is 2.51, and uh, I'm just gonna study a little bit more, put the groceries away, and that'll be it. I'm gonna hit the gym after the midterm, so probably, the test starts at five, and I have two hours, but I think I can finish it in an hour, because it's 70 multiple choice, and it's only about like evolution, and ecology, and biodiversity, so I think I'll be fine. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the gym. All right, I put the joggers on and they fit perfectly. If I got the large, I feel like it would be way too long. So I'm gonna get in front of the, I'm gonna climb up here. So I get some good lighting. And as you can see, I got the uh, DRK, the dark uh, joggers. And they got the metal tips, which I really like. Uh, and it's looser than I thought it would be because they said 30 to 32 in my, ch uh, not my chest, my waist is a 32. So it's great. Uh, the length is awesome. The paneling is great. And I'll probably be ordering a little, a little more now that <laughs> I know what my uh, size is. But the funny thing is with Alpha is that, um, do you see their symbol right here? 
uh, sometimes when people wear the snapbacks with the A7 shirt, um, they mistake it for, they mistake their A for the A7 thing. So they sometimes they think that the A7 logo is the alpha logo on some of their snapbacks. If you're wearing like the shirt and the snapback, you think it's A7, but it's not. And I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny. And yeah, I'm going to end it right here. This clip is getting kind of long, so I'm going to let the gym footage roll. And all right, guys, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible and explain what happened here. This is 555 pounds. The next clip will be 605 pounds. And today was supposed to be a maximum effort day for deadlift. I checked my variation. I said, okay, I'm going to do rack pulls because I just got out of a midterm and I didn't want to do like something off the floor, a pause deadlift or something that would be more taxing. So I wanted to do a rack pull. Got kicked off of the squat rack because I was told that I was going to break the bar doing rack pulls. Okay. So, all right, I was like, all right, can I do block pulls on the platform uh, using this setup? I explained this setup to them. And the guy was like, yeah, sure. Uh, so I started waiting for the platform, and uh, I sat on, do you see those two uh, squat racks in the middle of the room to my, to my, your left, my right? I was sitting on, well, the safety squat, the safety bar isn't on it right now, but I was sitting on the safety bar, and... Uh, the girl manager goes, hey, you can't sit on that. It's not designed for that. It can't hold your body weight. So, okay, uh, how is it supposed to catch a 400 plus pound squat if I go for that on that squat rack? Are you telling me this is a safety hazard? And I don't, she just gave me no explanation. And okay, so I, obviously my body weight is too heavy for that uh, safety pin. Sorry. That is my alarm, but uh, obviously not, and obviously she did not know what she was talking about. Um, but then I went on here, and she told me that I couldn't have 40... <sighs> I put the bumper plate on that you see right here, and then to the right of it, I put a, a 45 hex plate, and she told me, okay, you can't do that. Uh, it's touching the bumper plate. The hex plate is. Uh, that's not designed for that. You're going to break the plate. Okay, cool. So I take all of the 35s from the squat, this room, and from the next room. Both of the rooms are empty of 35s, and I clean them both out, and I put them all under my bar, and I have to use that band that you see on the floor right there, right next to the bar, to keep them together, as you saw on the pull. And after I pulled that top single, she told me that I couldn't do that anymore. Uh, the platforms are not designed for metal plates. It is only designed for bumper plates. And at this same day, another girl was told you can't do uh, bumper plates on the floor because they're not designed for the floor. They're designed for the platform. So I have no idea what they think they're doing. Uh, I have no idea. But that is all the workout footage I got because I didn't want to talk to them about filming or anything like that. So... Uh, that is my rant, you guys. I'm sorry that there wasn't more workout footage, but it was all the John Wooden Center's fault. Their staff. Okay, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.